Hi everyone, it's time for this week's edition of the Roar Report. We are looking at the week of September the 9th through the 13th, and this is the first Roar Report of the 2024-25 school year. My name is Karen Tunnell. I'm the principal of Tillamook Junior High, and uh, it's my pleasure to be on screen with you today. Just so that you know, um, we do these Roar Reports for basically the community at large. We share these each week in our discovery classes with students and staff. Every Monday, the whole school watches this. These get sent out um, to families via email, Remind. Um, it's on our website and it's on our school Facebook page. Um, this is just information that goes out about the happenings in the junior high. We feel like it's really important to have a consistent time that families can anticipate getting these this information. So every Friday afternoon, these go out. Monday at school, everyone watches it together in the building. Um, and there's like a million different ways that you can access this content. Okay, um, so I guess maybe what I should, I'm trying to say here is I get used to seeing this face. <laughs> um, all right, let's go over a few things that are happening in the building. Number one, our um, fall athletics are like up and going. We started practices recently and um, it is not too late to sign up to be on cross country, football or volleyball. Tuesday, September the 10th is the last day to sign up on Privet. So if you're you know, kind of on the fence, you know that you have until Tuesday to make that decision. And then also this last week in school, lots of paperwork has gone home. I, um, Thursday, Chromebook um, sign outs went home to parents. We do a lot of um, learning on our Chromebooks and devices. We access a lot of curriculum online. It's really important that kids have access to a one-to-one -one device. However, we only allow kids to use those if parents have signed a permission slip. So those went home uh, on Thursday, and if you haven't returned it yet, return it really quickly because it's easy to fall behind if you don't have your device. Also, things that went home on Friday from the office, our student handbook, which is a really important thing for families to look through together so that you understand the expectations that we have here at the junior high around rules or things um, that we provide, classes we provide and information like that. There's information about school meals and all of that. Um, there's also dental sealant paperwork that's going home. Uh, that's a wonderful service that we provide later in the school year in November. Even if you don't want the dental sealants, I'm going to ask you that you mark no, sign it, and return it because we do need that paperwork so that we're not like hunting you down later and saying, oh, we weren't sure if you wanted it or not. Just sign it and you know, send it back with your kids. And then also we're sending home course syllabi this week. Um, and that's, I think, a really important thing for families to look over as well. It shows our established grading policies, talks about the curriculum we use, it talks about teachers' expectations for behavior, and just maybe what you can anticipate uh, this trimester in your teacher's classes. And that's also, you know, if you have any questions, the teacher's contact information is on there so that you can easily reach out and have those questions answered. Hey, let's talk about other things that are going on. On Monday, September the 9th, we have a school board meeting at 5.30 p.m. at the district office. That's open to the community. On Wednesday, September the 11th, Smart Start begins. This is a reminder, school starts one hour later on Wednesdays unless you are already registered for Smart Start. I think at the junior high, we have a small number of kids, maybe 40 kids who are doing that. If that's something that you're interested in participating in, while it is too late for this trimester, don't worry, there will be opportunities to sign up for trimester two and trimester three later this year. Um, so just remember though, doors open one hour later for everyone else who's not part of Smart Start. On Thursday, September the 12th, we have picture day. So, you know, <sighs> Comb down those eyebrows and um, get ready to look your best for your junior high photo. Uh, paperwork for that went home on Friday and you can also look online for a code if you just want to order like at lifetouch.com instead of sending money with your 12 year old to school. <laughs> um, on Friday the 13th, I mean, good grief, what could possibly go wrong on Friday the 13th? 
I'm kidding. It's a great day. Friday the 13th at a junior high is like magic. Um, that is our red, black, and white day. Um, we encourage kids to wear red, white, and black, and it's our first activity night of the year that goes from 3.15 until 5, and it costs $5 to get in, and you might want to bring a little extra money if you like to get something at a concession stand, but this is a fundraiser for our fall athletics, and it's just a really great way to kick off the year. We have activity, activities for everyone. There's a dance for people who like to dance. We have open gym for people who want to be in there. We have board games. It's just, it's really a lovely evening and um, a great way to support cross country, volleyball, and football. I'm trying to think about other things. Just a few reminders um, on just kind of general policies around the junior high. We are a no cell phone school. Um, kids can have their cell phones turned off and in their lockers. We understand that you know kids need to be in contact with parents um, before and after school, but they are not supposed to have their cell phones on them, in their pocket, in their binder, or anything like that. Um, they should be in um, lockers during the day. If students need to get in contact with their families or families need to get in contact with the students during the day, um, families can call the office and students can use our office phones um, at lunchtime. It's pretty slick. We let kids do that. Um, also, just a reminder, I know we're still kind of in this weird warm weather slash wet weather slash windy weather slash who knows. It's, you know, Oregon in September on the coast. Um, we do have a dress code that says pits to tips. So from the top of your finger or from the top of your armpits to the bottom of your fingertips, we expect all students to be covered. So no skin showing um, in those areas. If you have any questions about that, you can look in your student handbook. It lays it out very, very specifically what is allowed. And if you have any questions, you can always contact the office. All right, folks, um, we've had a really lovely first week. Our seventh graders, man, we, I, we are so fortunate to have that little herd with us. And you know what else? It's really fun to see these eighth graders back. They have matured, they've grown, they're just a lot of fun. I feel like there's a very good energy in the building this year. Um, and we appreciate the kids coming in with great attitudes and we appreciate all the work that our families have done to get them ready for us. It's going to be a pretty wonderful year and it's always a great day to be a lion. <laughs>